Good morning. It is a new day. Today is December 8th, which is actually Will and I's anniversary. We have been dating for 13 years now. It's funny because when I was writing my wedding vows, I was sitting right here and Will was sitting at his desk right over here. And I wanted to reference the number of years we had been together in my vows. And I knew Will had already written his. And so I asked him, how many years have we been together? And he was like, 14. It'll be 14 in December. And so I like said in my vows something about like being together for 14 years. He mentioned in his vows that we were together for 14 years. And then after the wedding, I was doing the math and I was like, we have not been together for 14 years. It's 13 years this December. So Will and I have been together for 13 years. That is so long. We are very slowly inching towards half of my life with him crazy. I inadvertently really overbooked this day, which is kind of stressing me out a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but everything's going to be fine and everything that's happening is good. We just got back from breakfast with Will's mom. We were there for a few hours. I got up early enough that I could wash and dry my hair, so at least that's out of the way. I'm now getting tonight's Vlogmas video ready to go because once I leave the house again, I feel like there's just not going to be any more time for that during the day today. Once this is finished, I'm going to put on some makeup. Hopefully I have time for that and then I'm going to meet Courtney for lunch. See, I wasn't thinking but i'm actually eating out all three meals today which is kind of crazy um <laughs> i had a small breakfast kind of purposefully for this reason but i'm going to meet courtney for lunch she's on maternity leave which is so exciting she's supposed to have her baby like any day now which is crazy we're gonna go have lunch and then we're gonna go shopping we're gonna do some christmas shopping on ossington she's finishing her christmas shopping i'm gonna start mine although we did get a few things in barcelona but for the most part, I need to do all of my Christmas shopping still. So we're gonna go do that. Hopefully that puts me in a little bit more of like a Christmassy vibe, a Christmassy mood. I'm hoping we get our tree this weekend, but yeah, I'm just still not really feeling the Christmassy vibes. Although I was listening to some Christmas music yesterday and that was helping. So yeah, I'm gonna spend the afternoon with Courtney and then tonight me and Will are gonna have our anniversary date. So we were, normally what we would do is get all ready and go for drinks and go for dinner and have snacks and kind of bop around. That's like our favorite thing to do. But we literally just spent 10 days doing that in Barcelona. So another one of our favorite things to do is go to the movies and we don't do it very often anymore. I feel like it's pretty rare to go to the theaters these days and Will and I haven't been to a movie since we saw Batman together in the summer or maybe that was like the springtime it's been a while we went to batman with robert pattinson earlier this year but yeah we're gonna go to a movie we're seeing one called tar with kate blanchett it's two hours and 40 minutes which put us off that is a long time to be sitting in the theater which before that wasn't even in consideration but when we saw the time we hesitated like can i sit there for two hours and 40 minutes i don't know but i'm really excited because we're gonna buy all the snacks i'm gonna drink a diet coke and we're gonna watch a movie so that's what's going to happen tonight. But yeah, it's going to be a very social, very fun-filled day. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. So what I'm going to do is just continue on getting things done that I need to do. I also have work tomorrow, so I need to prep my kit. I haven't looked at my kit since before we went away, and I know I'm missing things out of it. So I need to look at my kit. I need to wash my brushes. I need to prep for work tomorrow. And that all has to happen in between all of my nice social activities that are happening today. So I'm going to sit here, uh, work on getting the video up. I need to do the thumbnail and the description. I'm having trouble finding pictures for a thumbnail, which is bothering me. And then we'll sit down and we'll do some makeup. Okay guys, finish my video. I have like 40 minutes until I need to leave to go and meet Courtney. So I'm going to do my makeup for the day and the night and just get it on and then not have to think about it for the rest of my day today. I love having freshly dried hair, but I hate the process of getting it here. Washing it and drying it takes so long. I already did my skincare, so I don't wanna add any more. So in this case, I like to use a primer. I normally just prime my skincare, but for instances like this, I will go in with a separate primer. I'm gonna use the Clay de Po Correcting Cream Veil. I actually really like this primer. I don't know if it's worth the price. That's gonna be up to the individual, but this really does an amazing job of smoothing the skin. Like if you have texture, this is gonna make your foundation go on so nice and smooth. I actually wanted to use this on my wedding day, but forgot. Okay, and then for foundation, I'm gonna pull out this guy, which I haven't used since last year. This is the Lancome 
tint miracle foundation it's really lightweight and dewy and one of the only foundations that i feel like will match me at this skin tone although it almost looks like it's gonna be too dark i'm so pale actually i think this will work my face is a lot lighter than my my neck so let's give this a go this is very old as well so hopefully it's still good it smells fine how's the color i'm gonna go in with some concealer i'm gonna use the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer okay so i just set my face with the airbrush flawless finishing powder it's feeling very dry but I'm just going to let that kind of sit in for a minute. I'm going to take my Airbrush Flawless Bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury on this big Real Techniques brush and add some color and some shape back into my face. And then I'm feeling my brows, so I'm going to go ahead and do that same way I do them every day. My little e.l.f. brow brush that I had bought when I bought the e.l.f. brow lift when I was in Buffalo with Jackie earlier this year, broke when we were in Barcelona, which is so sad. I mean, it was so cheap, so I get that it's not gonna be that good of quality, but it was so nice. I'm using this little like mascara wand now, and it, I feel like it's so much messier. It gets so much more product on my skin. And then I do wanna just add a little bit of eye makeup today. I wanna keep it pretty natural though. Will likes neutral colors on my eyes, so because I'm doing my makeup for our little date night tonight as well. We're gonna keep things pretty neutral. <laughs> A couple of Christmases ago, not last Christmas I think, but the Christmas before, he gave me this little Dior palette. He always compliments my makeup when I wear this. So I'm just gonna do a little combination of the brown and like this like beigey shimmery color right here. And I've been doing like pretty much no liner for a while now, but I am going to add a little bit of this new brown one that I got from Sephora. This is in tiramisu, but literally just a touch to the outer corner right along the lash line. Just kind of haphazardly applying that because then I'm going to go in with my little uh, flat definer brush and just kind of smudge it out a bit. So it's really soft. I'm enjoying these so far. I haven't played around with them enough or used them on clients yet, which my end goal is to have them be the liners that I use in my kit. But I've used this maybe three or four times on myself now, and I've liked the way that it goes on. I used way too much on this side, so I'm having to bring it all the way along instead of just keeping it on the outer corner. And I'm gonna have to match this side up. And then for mascara, I'm gonna use the Merit Tubing Mascara. Okay, I got a little bit of mascara here, but I'm just gonna let that dry for a minute before I try to take it off. I'm gonna go in with some blush. I have been on a mission to use up this blush this year and I completely forgot about it because I fall in love with my other blushes and then I forget that it exists. So I'm going to go in with this guy. This is the Catherine Isabella cream blush. This brand doesn't exist anymore, but I'm so close to using it up. I would love to actually go through a whole blush. So I'm going to keep bringing this guy out again over the next few weeks and see if I can get through it before the end of the year. And then I'm just gonna grab kind of the first highlighter that I see here, which is this nice little Dior palette. I actually got this from Will as well at the same time as I got that Dior eyeshadow palette. I had a little uh, Dior Christmas one year, it was lovely. And then I'm desperate for setting spray. My face is feeling so dry, winter time. And then I've been really into just tossing on a dark gloss for the past little while. So this is Walk of No Shame from Charlotte Tilbury. Just for a touch of color, a little bit of moisture and shine. And that is the finished look. That'll be my day tonight glam. So I'm gonna go get ready to go and we'll go and we'll meet Court. We're gonna go to Cafe Neon, which is 
a place that I actually found for the first time with Courtney. And I just really love it there. It feels so cozy, it's so warm. It just has the best vibe. It's a coffee shop in the front and a little cafe in the back. So we're gonna go there, I'm excited. <laughs> many hours I feel like since we've spoken lunch with court was great and she didn't last very long shopping she's very pregnant she's literally nine months pregnant so we made it to a couple shops and then I continued on by myself I got some Christmas gifts going which is great feeling good about that and then I actually picked up a couple of things for myself as well that I'm going to show you really quickly I am in desperate need of basics I feel like a lot of that is due to the due to the lockdowns and the pandemic because everything was loungewear, comfort wear for so long. I also uh, gained weight during that time, so I wasn't buying clothes, and the clothes that I did buy aren't really fitting me very well at the moment because I'm losing that weight. So I just wanted a couple of easy tops that I can throw on. A lot of my pants are just like high waisted but like very loose in the weight loose in the waist at the moment and so i just wanted some shirts that were a little bit longer a lot of my tops are really cropped and so like the cropped top with the really loose waistband is not the best so i just got this plain white tee it's not full full length but it's also not super cropped either it fits so nicely and i'm obsessed with white at the moment i tried it on in black too um, thinking I could get that for work, but I'm just so drawn to white and then I got this little Tank as well. The fabric is amazing and the cut is so cute So I'll wear those over the next couple days. You guys will see them uh, We had a small almost disaster when I was out for lunch with Courtney I got a I got an email from Cineplex uh, asking me how I enjoyed my movie I was like, I haven't seen my movie yet. And so I went to double check our tickets and I was like, yeah, they're for 9.15. And then I put my phone down and then I was like, wait, let me check the date. And I actually bought the movie tickets for yesterday instead of today. I was like, oh my God, I bought the tickets for the wrong day. But Will called and they refunded us and we're gonna rebook, which is fantastic. That was so nice. I thought for sure they were gonna be like, no, you're out of luck, but they did not. So I'm starving. I'm gonna eat this pomegranate, but I don't wanna eat too much because we're gonna go for dinner and then we're gonna get snacks at the movie theater. So I'm gonna have this. We're gonna rebook our tickets for the movie. And then. I've been reminiscing a lot, afraid of making a mistake. I don't pay attention a lot. And I be conversating with God and Satan about which way that I should probably embark upon and leave me to high places. Please told me that I'm changing, of course I've been fucking changing. Things haven't been the same since grade school, smoking papers. Lately, all I ever do is just sleep, music, and waiting for the day I finally break from the hometown I was made. And I've been broke, I sell an eight, pop a pillow for better days. I don't got a lot, thought I have a stack in the bank after I graduated. Find me a bad bitch who was damn well fucked me over. Was to use the same. I go need a break and I hate it My dilemmas be volumes, no acapella Trying to cop a Maserati and crash inside a motel Shawty yelling spiritual, so my focus out of alignment I flip a coin in the street for the moment I'm indecisive, I live riddled with vices Your angels, I couldn't find them Shit never been the same since I seen you kiss them goodbye She telling me all the time that the 
This isn't even about me, shit now nah, I seem fucking simple I can't 